Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Let Me. And it's yeah. your boy, St -st -st <laughs> Ignorant. But anyway, coming in for this week's Queen Sugar. And I'm going to start doing the um, seasons and episodes because I haven't been doing it this whole season. Season 4, episode 5, alright? Yeah. Face speckle. Before we get into this, anyone that is in the Louisiana area, the surrounding areas, I don't know what other states may be affected by this or going to be affected by this, but you all about to get some bad guy doing weather. Mm. And it's already on the ground, but I, I heard it's about to get real for y'all, so you definitely have our prayers Indeed, I ain't know nothing about it. Yeah, he don't watch TV. But, um, yeah, so all of our family out there, y'all stay safe. Check in with us. Indeed. If you have to get on Instagram, just hit us with a DM. Let us know that y'all are all right. Indeed. Because you all are a part of our extended family. Yes, indeed. Um, first things first, our papa freaks all the hunt. No. Y'all go ahead and hit that guy doing subscribe button. Go ahead and hit the like button. At this point, you already have been counted. And yeah. this week, I will try not to slap so much for you all that it was... I'm telling you, this new equipment is so freaking sensitive. I do this every week and nobody hears it, but this new equipment, you hear everything. But anyway, face buckle. This week, we get Remy. Everybody's been asking where Remy is. So where the said, hell you been, bruh? Remy just like Bernie Mac. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. But he's not going to be here for long. Remy was like, listen, when um my wife died, I tried to make St. Joe's my home, but St. Joe really ain't my home. I just made it my home because this is a place that she loved. I tried to do what I did. And then I got hooked up with the um with the sisters. With the border lounge. So. Yeah, so he was like, you met, basically... I fell in love with two women, but out of the two, I really could see this working out between me and Nova. I was like, okay. And Hollywood co-signed that yeah. shit. He said, I ain't gonna tell Val that, but yeah, y'all would have been good together. I was like, Hollywood was basically <laughs> like, you you better not tell anybody about God. You kill your mother. <laughs> um, so he said, what he's about to do is he basically came here to say his last goodbyes. Um, to tell everybody that he was going back, you know, and this is pretty much final for him. But I was telling Stanley while watching this, I was like, does this seem like final, final? Like, like we're not going to see him no more? Well, I had a feeling that he was going to eventually leave the show, but it felt almost suicidal to I me. Not, I was like, anybody else caught those vibes that it was like, I'm saying I came back here to say my last goodbyes to y'all. And especially when he left out the diner the way that he was looking yeah, back look, at Hollywood. Uh -huh. It was just like... And I, he said, tell tell Nova and Charlie. Hello. Tell Nova and Charlie. I said, hello. I said... But yeah, it was like that. But it's kind of it's kind of making me wonder how all of us been saying maybe a suicide or a death. Of some man that was going to bring the family back together. From I don't think it'll w. be him, though. I don't know. I, yeah, well, he, no, he cool, yeah, yeah, he, he cool, ain't but that, he cool. that cool. Yeah, but I like Remy though. A lot of people didn't like. But Remy. I wonder I like if Remy. I wonder if Remy is in the book. She got everybody <laughs> else. Well, that's a part of her skit, so she ain't too up front with her skit all the way. You know, she makes it cute, like a little cupcake. You know. Yeah. But um, anyway, so let's let's hit on Michael real quick. Michael went to go visit his friend Aunt. And Ant is, you can tell that Ant is in survival mode. He was like, mm -hmm. basically, I got my nose down. I'm doing what I have to do to survive so I can get up out of here. And Micah started talking to him about the fact that it really don't seem like what we did and, and how we were crusading for this cause. It don't well, really seem like it was worth it. And said, what you're not fitting to do yeah. <laughs> is sit in my face while I'm behind these bars and tell me that the reason that I'm sitting in here isn't worth it. So Michael was like, no, that's not what I was saying. Yeah, I understood what he But we about. understood what he was saying was yeah. like, after all of this and you being in here going through what you're going through and to see where we are still, yeah. it really wasn't even worth it. And then we didn't even make a dent into what we were trying to do. Yeah. Yeah. So, so he noticed that that Ant had a little tattoo on his arm. So later on in the episode, we see that Micah has gotten him a tattoo party on tattoo. And he don't got stone cold drunk. Messing around with that guy. Trying brown to liquor. ease the pain. Trying to mess around the brown liquor. He was, was like, look at him. He drunk. He yeah. We're going to take him to the toilet because he's he fit to throw up. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, I meant for this to numb the pain, not for you to get stone cold drunk. But he would tell you how I knew he was drunk when he said, you know what? 
I love y'all, man. <laughs> when they tell you they love you, it is on and so popping. the tequila done kicked in, the vodka done kicked in, and the brown liquor done kicked in. Hmm. I love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I be like, it's time to go, y'all. I, I don't like being around drunk people, like drunk people that start getting on your nerves. Belligerent drunk yeah. people. You ain't even got to be belligerent, but when you start getting on my nerves and everything is this and you picking just too much, because I got them hands. <laughs> and so, in order for me not to go to jail, I'm going to remove myself from the situation. But Micah is changing very slow. Yeah. Now, I, it could be a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. We've been saying... Yeah, to just as long as... Guidance. Yeah, because we, we don't want them in handcuffs. That's the yeah. Only, yeah, that's the only thing. So, Micah goes home and he's laying in the bed and Charlie was in there. And, you know, of course, he had it back. Why they had it bandaged up like that, though? Where was the saran wrap? I mean, they, I just, mean, they had his stuff all the way bandaged up like he really just Have you shot. seen people at tattoo parties? Other than going to the tattoo parlor with a professional? Not saying that people that do tattoos in your house that y'all ain't no good. Mm -hmm. Which a lot of y'all are really good. A lot of them are the best. Yeah, they good. But some of y'all... Y'all be bucking people up. Yeah, y'all be... And then y'all be over there drinking and smoking and partying and then you want to tattoo me? Mm -hmm. Oh, hell no. <laughs> That's permanent, dumb, bruh. Yeah, we ain't going back from this. <laughs> nah, you ain't fit to be like, you know what, bruh? My bad. That's what my, we say. We, we mess you up. My bruh. bad. It ain't, it, like, it ain't like you saying my bad because you fucked up my hair cut. You know, I can always let my hair grow back and re get it cut. But if you put a tattoo on there, man, that's, that's it. That's life. Yeah, you know, it is. So when Charlie comes in the room, she sees the bandage and she was like, oh, are you okay? He's like, it's just a little tattoo, Ma. She was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a god doing it. Little tattoo? Like little. Like little as if dust the dust, this is going with you. Yeah, you got a big old bandage from here to here. I'm talking about little. She says, you know what, Micah? And then she said, hold on, hold on. Are you drunk? <laughs> and he was like, Mom, you know, it was just the ease He's of the pain. pain. This is a little, this is a little she bit. She said, you're not 21. Yeah, you on the 17. So Michael, you know, of course, he's in that nonchalant thing with his mom. And she said, you know what? I don't even know what to do with you. Matter of fact, I just need to send you to somebody that you will listen to because you won't listen to me. <laughs> I said, oh, yeah, so now you about ready to buck up, Michael, where your yeah. mama is just going to be like, like the old people say, it's in God's hands now. Well, he had, he had that mistake when you, you know. He's smelling himself. Yeah, yeah he's smelling himself. He's trying new things, you know, experimenting with life. But the unfortunate thing is some of us, don't it's a continued experiment like we 30 40 50 60 yeah, still 70 80 still experimenting with life <laughs> um the clinic let's go ahead and hit on this clinic when i saw the clinic up and running the way that it was i automatically was like too much too god doing soon because you know last week they decided that they were going to use the Queen Sugar Mill as a makeshift clinic for all of the undocumented um, um, Mexican workers, right? <clears throat> so this week, Charlie comes in and what's the guy's name? Lord have mercy. I've been calling his name. Yeah, I can't whatever. remember his y name. Know his yeah, y'all know it. And um, I mean, he has this thing up <clears throat> and running where it looks like they have every freaking patient that is that is in St. Joe that's mm -hmm. undocumented is in there getting treated at this moment. Yeah. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like I told them at work one time when they were like, because we went through um, terrorist shootings and um, planning to get out of the building whenever there's a terrorist shooting or an employee that came back and shot up the place and they all want to put us in one centralized location so we can bear down and I said, oh, oh hell no. And I spoke up and I said, you know what? For the sake of this God doing drill, I would do this. But if a, if a shoot if, break out of here, if this gets real, I'm oh, not going to be. I ain't been in order with y'all. Y'all not going to gather all of us together so they can just pluck us off at one time. Yep. And that's what I felt like was happening right here. I said something is about to happen because you have too many people in one spot at one time time and god doing it if ice didn't come Bust through right in there yep and was checking everyone's documentation to see who was documented and who was not documented and a whole lot of the motherfuckers was not documented and 
Charlie was like, you know what, we we are under the farmer something something something. We are able to do yeah, this. Yeah, we legal. We good. Ice basically told him, say under under Donald Trump's administration, we can do whatever the fuck we want to uh -huh. do. We want to see and you. And I said, see I said, Ava, I, I appreciate you putting that in there because that's really how it is. Uh -huh, that's under real. his administration, rules ain't really his friend. He don't really do rules because yeah. he has a whole lot of people that want a job done and they will overlook the fact that he broke the rules just to get that job done. And that's what's happening here. <laughs> so the main guy that was working on Ralph Angels and them land, he got taken. Yep. His son got taken. I think it was one of his younger boys that were born into the U.S. He was able to stay, but yeah. they were sending them off. Basically, I call them the consecration camps. But... I'm like, Lord have mercy. So Charlie is like, you know what? I'm going to find you a lawyer. I'm going to do what I got to do. I got do. you. I got you. But I, I like, said, here we go again. Charlie, do something good. And here you go. You can't. The booze get again. So then Charlie goes outside. And I think she was talking to. Uh, Probably the head of Ice or whoever. Ice or head. Sheriff somebody. Yes, yeah. And she was like, listen. I know that the Landris had something to do with this. He said, you think that. Sam Landry will basically put himself on the chopping block to come down here. Because he lost three of his best workers. And I said... I said, bug skip. People do it all the time, all day, every day. They can get three new workers. I I'm mean, like, did you just... Well, he don't know nothing about this, but... Nova just sacrificed your whole family for, for a best-selling book. So, yeah. people do it all day. They will sacrifice day, day. anything they have to do in order to get ahead to make my whole lot of money. So... This is the situation at hand. And the cop base, he was a cop. He basically told her, he said, listen, <laughs> when you shut down our prison, our prison, our prison, you made more enemies in that one day than I have my entire lifetime. Basically telling her, I'm a crooked motherfucker and I have made some enemies around here. You would one day don't came through and just don't broke my record. Mm -hmm. So it could be anybody. And later on, the girl that Charlie always deals with that goes undercover and finds out information and breaks her stuff. She was like, I even know that y'all been sneaking around getting, you know, information about the land and with this. So it's so I know this. You know all the rest Everybody of Everybody else know it too. So at this moment, we don't even know who did this. Now, I hope that Charlie, you know, you hiring um, protection for uh, Michael. You I, hope, for I, hope, I hope you hire from. You need the CIA at this point. <laughs> you need the men in black. <laughs> you know, with the Bluetooth in their ear watching over you. Because at this point, man, I think so. At, I, I told you, I, like I told you last night, I, 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 I'm sorry. I hope I don't offend nobody. But I think somebody need to bust a cat in one of them Landry's, man. Because they are just pissing oh, no. me. They yeah. pissing me off. It's almost like Nobody's they just won't. offended by that. Yeah, they just won't stop. Y'all I mean, to the point where you want to take these people land, put a roll right through their land so you can make more money? Yeah. Fuck so, you, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, Charlie's whole thing now is, if I run for council... And I can push the initiative because she basically knows at this point she can't stop this road. This road is coming. But if I can push it five miles east, yeah, that's what then we can save yeah. a whole bunch of people's land. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you better go with that plan because I don't think you can stop this train. This train is coming. And either you're going to stay, you're going to get out of its way or you're going you're gonna to push it this way. Push it that way. But I'm still confused, but I guess that come with along with the our ignorance of not knowing the laws and how this stuff works. It's like, how is you can come in and on somebody else's man. own land that they're going to pay for man. and paying taxes and you just can freaking run a motherfucking road right through it as if nobody is there? Him in that domain. That is crazy. They can come through and do whatever the fuck they want and they can settle with you of how so much. So in other words, what they mean money. is really you really don't own skit. Mm -hmm. Just on paper. But until they need it, like they said, the Lord has need of you. Hmm. The, the um, city and the state has need of you. <laughs> So let's go over here to Davis West. Now, Davis West, because of this book and the aftermath of this book, y'all know Davis West last week was like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to quit my job I'm and I'm going to take this on. Um, I'm a new creature in Christ. <laughs> and I'm going to do it right. Well, here, that book don't stir up a whole nother part. A whole well, basically of part two. At that university. With man. Melita. Mm -hmm. And he was like, listen. I got people outside. They out here chatting and running a fool. This keep up, 
I'm not going to have a job. Charlie, Where? can you fix this? And I say, here we go, go again with the bull skit. She, she tried to fix it last time. Now you, now you back. She not married to you, no. Nah, she, yeah, she, you, you cut off. So this, this what he do. He always bring up. Micah. Hey, well, we gotta, we gotta do what's right for Micah. Say they don't crackhead moves again. I swear to God. Uh, everybody using these crackhead moves up on in this show right here. So she agreed to meet with him. And this would piss me off. It may not have, it may not have meant nothing to you, but it pissed me all the way off. Because I hate to feel like I'm being taken <clears throat> advantage and that you come over here and bring your heavy skit over here on me. Mm -hmm. And you sitting back lax and days in the middle of that meeting. This motherfucker is eating Chinese food. Yup. First of all, I would have slapped the gun on four out of this mouth. Because what you're not going to do is sit back in the cut and feed your stomach while you lay all of this on me to yes. fix. Yep. That pissed me all the way off. If you got any family members like that, raise your hand. Maybe that's what the problem is. I'm taking it out on Davis West. So they, they sit back relaxing while they putting all their skit on you. Yeah. Yeah. You telling me all your problems and how you... Or friends. Or co-workers. And you sit back eating Chinese food. Like, yeah. And yeah, and she said, hold on, Davis. What I'm going to need you to do is I'm going to need you to make a statement. I'm going to need you to get out and do some press. And he didn't even want to do that. He was like, well, I always listen to you. Although I don't like what you have to say. And they tried to lean in to yeah. give her a kiss. She was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. wait, 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 wait. How is that you going to ask for the advice for me to help you and I give you the answer? What did that sound like? Yeah. Don't that sound like the people that come to bring you their skit? You tell them everything they need to do. You even tell them how to budget their money. They don't want to hear none of that. But then two weeks later, they, yeah. But I'm saying that you can help. But me you, out. but you know what's so Fuck sad. You. you know what's so sad though in the world that we live in, is that these people read this in the book about them, and didn't go and fact check to find out the truth. They immediately started going protesting based on what's in the book. Well, that's, that's the kind of world we live in, that's man. What we live like in. people don't. That's like we can tell y'all something on here right now about somebody. And y'all believe And it. you will believe it before you go and fact check and make sure we tell the truth. Mm -hmm. Well, so Unvi. Unvi. <clears throat> yeah. She going through. And come to find out what well, we knew what was what was happening with her. But she ended up actually opening up to Hollywood finally and telling him, listen, business is doing well. I mean, they catering fumes and everything. Like you said, the fumes. But she said, Nova came through and basically brought all of the skit that this man used to do to me and just put it back in my face. And now all the feelings that I used to have and all of the emotional turmoil that I used to go through it's with back. Jimmy Dale is back. Mm -hmm. And she was like, after everything that I've done for that, that girl, these kids... But that girl, when her mama died, she bring this to me. It's like she spit in my face. And I'll never forgive her for this. Mm. And he, she told um, Hollywood, she said, I'm going through it. And, and the way I feel right now, I don't like it. And she said, I just got all of these negative and these bad feelings. Mm -hmm. And Hollywood was like, you know, but I'm in here with you, though. Yeah, we in this fight together. And she said, but you don't know how I feel. And you can't take away how I feel. And I love me some Hollywood. Yeah. Hollywood was like, you know what? Yeah. You're right. I, I don't know how you feel. And I can't take away how you feel. But what I can do is be there with you. Exactly. While you feeling what you feel. Exactly. I'll say you. Oh, yeah, better. But at the same time, this reveals some truth about herself that she really didn't get healed. She didn't get healed from what he did because when he came up, when you heal, it it's actually matter. different when it comes back up. You good? Be like, man. Pfft. But if you got set back that far, you it was just covered. Yeah. So so maybe this is a blessing. <laughs> so you can really get healed because like you can't control this man coming around. Yeah. Yeah. And then on the, on the flip side. All of us have dealt with damaged people or dealing with damaged people in our lives. It's just mm -hmm. the inevitable. But how much can a person take if you're not willing to do what you need to do to be whole? Do the work. Like, like Ayana say, <laughs> beloved. <I'm not> <laughs> Emma, yeah, well, I always say her he name He always wrong. say Ayana. <laughs> yeah, I say her name wrong. Y'all know who she is. She gotta, you got to do the work, beloved. Yeah, so I'm like, Hollywood's a good man. He's a, like, um, Spunky.Neva said, he's a good man, Savannah. Mm -hmm. But, 
But at the same time, I don't mean to play the devil advocate, but yeah, he went through this with his previous wife, you know, going through it and always being there and being That's strong. That's why I dude. said what I said. So I'm like, is is he going? Is he really going to stick this out with Vi? That's why I said what I said. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah. Because I'm like, okay. In his mind, he might be like, okay, am I going to end up putting all my feelings, putting my dreams on hold again? To love a woman that's not broken. gonna, yeah, that's broken, is not gonna reciprocate, and pretty much dwell yeah. on this man that damaged her, and just you know forget my feelings. Hey, Shad, I'm gonna change subject. Huh? <laughs> but somebody in the comments said last week that when you get older, you gonna look like Jim and Dale. <laughs> <laughs> and if I didn't crack up, I, I didn't didn't say that. Yeah. I, I said, said boy, ball head. <laughs> Big, you know, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna come up on here and I'm gonna dial all this real quick and then we're gonna, we're gonna prove and see what I look like. I'm gonna go and dial all that white hey, right you now. might be Jim and Dale, but I definitely ain't Vi. <laughs> mm -mm, I definitely ain't Vi. And I ain't Jimmy Dale either, because I ain't take nothing from you that you ain't gonna never get back. <laughs> Whatever that is, we're trying that to figure baby. out. So let's go ahead and talk about my baby Blue. Oh. Okay, Blue was at school. And he was excited because he won the spelling bee. Mm -hmm. So he's on the playground and him and one of his little buddies was just talking. And the little boy kind of was like, you know, you did good. Um, you know, how did you win that spelling bee? And he was like, me and my dad, we, you know, we got this. We study, we do this. He was like, yo, dad. <laughs> you, you, you ain't got no daddy. daddy. You was like, yes, I do. Yeah, I do got a daddy. daddy. Yeah, I do it. You don't see him walk up and through here, drop me off at school like, and the little boy said, well, my mama said Sam, that go. your daddy is not your daddy. And her and my auntie was on the phone and they said, yeah, he not your daddy. I said, oh, skip. So here we go. See, all of y'all in the comments, well, it was kind of a 50-50 split. A lot yeah. of people were saying it wasn't the time to be forced into telling him. And then a lot of people was like, listen, the book is out. Y'all better go ahead it's and gonna, tell It's going to get to him. Before God. it get to him. So y'all yeah. that say, y'all need to get that out there and, and put that in, and put that bug in Blue's ear now. Yeah, y'all right. right. Mm -hmm. Well, next thing we know, Ralph Angel gets a telephone call from Dollar. And Ralph Angel is actually on a date. He had to cut his date short to go and see what Dollar was talking about. So Dollar gets Blue to the house. Now, mind you, earlier in the episode, Dollar... I didn't know if she had relapsed or what the hell was going on because pretty much Blue got himself ready, yep. up, dressed. Open, opening doors up. Right? He's like, what you doing opening the door? And Dollar's in the bed. Like literally in the bed under the covers. Mm -hmm. and but I'm I think like, stressed though. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to chalk it on up stressed. to the yeah. fact that maybe she just fell into a deep depression about mm -hmm. this book and she, she, you know, she prayed and got herself up out of it. The God, Lord is good. Yeah. But this, now she has to deal with Blue and they both know what the elephant in the room is. Although Blue hasn't told them what's happening, all Blue's doing is crying. Mm -hmm. But they know that they're about to have this talk with Blue. So Ralph Angel was gearing up to go back home because Blue had went to bed, and Dollar was like, "You know what? No. What if he wakes up in the middle of the night and he wants some answers? And I'm not prepared to talk to him about something like this." And immediately I went back to, because y'all know Dollar's not my favorite person, but I'm trying to be fair to mm -hmm. him. But wasn't you the person that was fighting for a full custody of him? So if you can't handle him answering no questions, yeah, but anyway, why? Yeah, but anyway, yeah, uh, yeah. So <laughs> I was like, um, if you, if he was, uh, never mind, don't worry about it. Yeah, I was so, like, Ralph don't need to stay over that house either. Yeah. Say both of y'all trying to start a new relationship. What they look like? And and him pat to the side. Huh. So Ralph Angel ended up spending the night. Not, I don't think anything happened. Listen, I hope nothing didn't happen. happen. Yeah, cause and, uh, cause we wanted with the other girl now. Yeah. And that would mess all that up. She find out, but she she might get pissed off. She found out he stayed over there. Well, I don't think so. Not once he, he tell her what the heck is going on. So Blue gets up and he tells them what's going on and that the boy said that he doesn't have a father and blue has had time to actually think about oh this. he put everything and put the pieces put put together, pieces together. <laughs> and he said pops is that the reason that we don't look alike <laughs> i said oh shit. you know and ralph angel broke it down to blue and he said i may not be your biological father what does that mean? What does biological mean? He said, meaning that a man, a mommy and a daddy got together, but we chose you. Uh, I, chose I chose you. you. 
and you are my son. We have the same heartbeat. heartbeat. We have the same soul. And he was like, feel right there. Then feel that. I'm you. You are me. You are my son. So Blue was like, but what if you choose another oh. son or a daughter? And I was like, ooh. ooh good question. Yeah. It's a like, God darn good question. And he said, no, that's not going to happen. But uh. I was saying to myself, Ralph Angel. You can really get into a new relationship with a lady that has a daughter. Uh -huh. At some point, you may incorporate a daughter into this relationship. Mm -hmm. So you should have explained to him that even if someone else comes into our unit, you were still chosen, chosen. to be my son. So I got you changes. and I got them. Uh huh. So just as much as I love you, I'm going to love them. And I'm going to love you even while they're here. So then Blue looks over there at Dollar. He said, well, why I got you on the line. Uh-huh. Is you my biological mom? <laughs> Good was, question. She was like, yeah, Good I am question. your biological mm -hmm. mom. But even if you, I weren't, I would have chosen yeah. you over and over again. So he's pretty much, he, he he's settled for now. But trust and believe. This is good. This, this ain't, ain't over. over. It ain't over. It's not over. That boy done went through a, like a 180 just like that. Because he still had to deal with the kids at school. Yeah. And just one kid said it. So one. you know, because you know he done spread that all around. Yeah, that yeah, that guy that come pick up her blue, that ain't even his daddy. Uh-huh. Look, he black like this, she uh, black yeah, like uh -huh. this. Yep. It's it's a lot. So now Blue is very conscious of yeah, Pop, why you why you yeah. black like this and I'm light like this. And, and don't and, and that don't mean nothing, but he's he's noticing things now. And don't let him have no kid come along and say, Yeah, I had a biological father too that told me he chose me and he was he, he me. walked out. And he walked out, he gone. And your daddy gonna do the same thing. That's how yeah, that's how that's what kids do. People, man, people the the kid did it because the adult did it. Yeah. Gossiping on the phone. And the kid did what the kid does. It yeah. hustle. Yeah. That's what they made. The I kids. mean, we do it. Yeah. We hear something we've never. <laughs> hey, did y'all hear? Now I don't do all that. Now I don't do that either. Mm. Yeah, because you get your you get you get your feelings hurt on that one. So gossiping boy get you killed. So let's talk about the lady of the hour. Yeah, I, I'm still confused by this. Nova. So we know that Nova is on her five city tour. So now she's in another location. And of course, she's giving her her you know her spill about the book, blah 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 blah. So they started taking questions from the audience, and this lady pops up, and I said that lady look familiar yeah. as hell. And it no, was Freddie from a um, different world. And Nova started getting nervous. She and I said, hmm, this seems like there's something there. Yeah, right? some friction going on here. So the lady was basically telling Nova, okay, so you wrote a book based on what? And Nova was like, you know, this is my family's truth. This is our experiences. She said, yeah, but what facts are they backed up by? She said, I don't need no facts. She said, so all of the stuff in the library, you mean to tell me just because they're written, they don't have facts to back them up? I mean, what what did you base this on? Well, research. I said, what the hell is going on? But Nova was time enough for it. She basically called Nova book, said, your, your book ain't skit. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, it's, it's written as if you are an amateur. <laughs> I said, well, say what? I said, where is this coming but, from? But I was confused though. So I'm like, so if I write a book about you, I know you, I live with you. But I, I, need, some some, I, need, I need some, do some research. Mm -mm. <laughs> so now if I was writing a book about something else that, that required research, then you can, yeah, then you can come at me. So later on, I said, okay, what the hell was this about? We see Nova go to this door. The lady opens the door. And she was like, oh, you're right on time. We're having basically a discussion about your book. Well, and there's students. this. I said, the hell is happening? So then there's a girl sitting beside her that starts kind of. She's in position to really give it to Nova. Mm -hmm. But I noticed there's a great similarity with Nova and, and this the girl. girl. Yeah. And I said, hold on. Hold on, I ain't going to jump to conclusions here. But I know what I'll see right here. Okay. So her, Nova and, and the professor got into it one more again. And it all boils down to this. The professor, she mad because her tail wasn't featured in the book. She's had one line. She, she was like, of everything we've gone through, what she said, they went to Paris went or Rome? Italy, we had the stuff we had in Italy. It's like, you were screaming my, my name. My name. 
I was like, the hell is I'm like, I'm like, like you trying to say you caught that in the book? And she said, so basically, you mentioned me, which lets me know that you thought of me, but then you only wrote one that line, little bit one line. about me. So Nova said, oh, so this is what this is about. This is what this is about. Now, mind you, the professor had already dismissed the girl, the one that was giving it to give it to Nova. <laughs> and Nova said, you know, I see that you still have a type. I said, oh my God. Huh? And the next thing we know, Huh. Her and Nova is in the bed getting Get it, it in. In. I, was I like, said, how do we go from uh, that from the meeting to to the bed? Uh, what? So Nova got holes literally in every area code. Men and women. So do she have a man and a woman in every area code? Now you single Nova, do you? <laughs> but it's getting real. <laughs> it's getting yeah. It's, but. Now, now let me let me let me go here because I was creeped out. No lie, no freaking lie. Because this professor looks older than Nova, which yeah, doesn't mean like anything. forty years older. Yeah. So this is what it remind me of. And Lord forgive me if I'm wrong, but th this is just my experience. Like there's no research behind this. <laughs> this is my experience. <laughs> I need you to put some research on that. I'm not. <laughs> it almost reminded me of the track coach that's grooming. The track star, so that later on they can come back and sleep with them. Yeah. This is what this lady felt felt like to me. Like mm. she she gets someone under their wing and she teaches them everything she knows. She grooms them, and yeah. then the next thing you know, they smashing. Because yeah. this new girl is way younger mm. than yep. Nova. Yep. So hold on, here. college student. So hold on, baby. So what we not gonna do is have the professor going around here grooming all these young ladies so that later on the, the professor can come in and have her a smash partner. Yeah. That's nasty. Very much. That's so. a rapist. And that's the vibe that I was getting was like, oh, oh. But oh. she would go she would do that under the guys that they old enough. Every all of them did. Yeah. That's why a whole lot of track coaches go from high school to the to, college. To the college. Yeah, so they, they can't get locked up. Immediately. You say you might never get locked up, but you can get your A whooped. That's still on the table. Mm -hmm. It takes a little bit more to get you locked up because you, well, they consented and da 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 da. But eventually they used to get them. Yeah. But I was I was just creeped out by it. I ain't gonna lie to you. But that whole thing with blue, I was like, God darn it. Yeah. Woo, that came up fast. I ain't expected yeah, to come yeah. up this fast, y'all. That's it. That's all I got this week. So we'll yeah. be back next week straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla.